loneliness. Being alone. A lone wolf. With our world today being centered around social media, dating apps, and endless entertainment, can we even be lonely anymore? Or are we all lonely, but we found ways to treat our loneliness? I'm here to find out if our youth members and community members feel lonely in our new age of technology. Hi, what's your name? Shay. Shay, nice to meet you. I'm Mitch. Thank you. And our first question is, do you feel lonely? No. No. Oh, I have my friends right here. Nice. <laughs> okay, what do you think about our world today being more connected than ever before? Good about it. It's really nice yeah. to feel more included in the world and very mm -hmm. like I'm out here doing all this. Mm -hmm. I'm a kid out here doing this. Yeah. I'm in high school. I get to go places. That's awesome. So it's nice. Well, I find the opposite happening to one of our very own youth members. What is your full name? Uh, Sol Estrada. And what does loneliness mean to you? I don't know. Maybe just like. It's like feeling alone. It doesn't always have to be like a physical or a thing. It can be like mentally or emotionally. Do you feel alone? Sometimes. Do you think there's no longer loneliness in the world because of the internet? No. No, I don't believe that. You feel like there, yeah. there is loneliness yes. in the world? found that a lot of people didn't want to talk about their loneliness. They didn't want to be reminded of it. Luckily, one of our community artists was open to talking to us about loneliness. Hi, my Hello. name is Mitch. What is your name? Fernando. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. What do you think about our world today being more connected than ever before? I think it's, um, it's easy to, um, to have um, immediate like um, connections with um, friends, family, and strangers. Mm -hmm. And um, it kind of makes it um, seem like, <clears throat> like instead of like going to knock on your neighbor's door, now you just kind of like send like an instant message. Mm -hmm. That's like the new, um, the new, uh, instead of sending mail. mail, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's like if I'm lonely, I could just like send you a DM, mm -hmm. like, hey. And then like, it's kind of just connecting me to you and um, mm -hmm. allowing me to, um, to just have like, conversation even though I'm not mm -hmm. present like in the moment like how we are right. so like I could be lonely like mm -hmm. like in, in like the real world mm -hmm. like in the moment but then like it's like a, um, a quick um, like a quick way to just like overcome that feeling by like right. just reaching out to like one or more people mm -hmm. and then just having like ongoing conversations and the time uh, is filled with um, like connections you yeah. know but then they're not always like um with like friends or family it could just mm -hmm. be like from like a girl you think he's cute but you don't <laughs> want to like yeah. come on the wrong way so yeah. you just want to like stay connected or like mm -hmm. or like artists you look up to and might want to just like reach out to and be like hey what did you use in this or how, how did you do that right. you know so you feel so, a good connection yeah so I feel like in like in 2020 mm -hmm. as of now like I feel like it's hard it's hard to be lonely mm -hmm. for myself personally, mm -hmm. but um, number one, because I always stay busy and active and try to like stay um, positive and productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's times where I just want to like do nothing, yeah. And I kind of feel lonely, but I also feel good being able to just rest and, and take recharge. time to like self care. Yeah, self care you know? for like, yeah. sure. So like, so it's like a double, yeah. like positive and a negative, you know. Are we just merely distracting ourselves as soon as we feel lonely? Let's ask our neighborhood performer. <laughs> you got your breath. Go ahead. What do you think about our world being more connected than it is ever today? How does that affect you? <laughs> um, in 2020, there's a lot of new 
social media applications on her phones and stuff that it's just too much stimuli even for the people who grew up through the all the social media era since the 2000s and it's just what can you filter from what's real and what's um, not real yeah. an illusion mm -hmm. and pretty much making the best like outlook of life in general and how you want to live it but I would say it's just pretty much filtering through your life. Yeah. Do you think it's a negative or a positive or neutral uh, effect on people today? Um, everything. Everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So even right now when I listen to music, yeah. it's like the way when I listen to the music, it's the producers, the artists themselves, the lyrics, everything that gives me the energy and the grit to keep going. And same thing with social media. I think if you're an influencer, that's one thing. If you're a general general audience, that's another thing. But if you're and then if you're like a business person, that's another thing. But the idea is that you can use social media as a good way and a bad way. As long as you're not trying to cause harm towards others and you're being kind and just using just general ethics, mm -hmm. then social media can be a decent thing. It keeps us connected. For that. Okay. Well, <laughs> and do, do you yourself feel lonely? Excuse me? Do you yourself feel lonely? Oh, yes. Um, I'm originally from here. Oh, okay. Um, Where are you from? I'm originally from Illinois. Oh, good. Cool. Oh, a long way. <laughs> yes. Are you here for school? Yeah, I'm here for school. In South Valley State? San Valley State, oh, yes. Oh, cool. Okay. So, as far as if, do I feel any yes? And just because. I don't have my full, like, uh, immediate support like I would back home, but I do have some support from others, um, in person, remotely, but most importantly, what I've grown in, like, been, um, been on with me has been music, and that's why, like, my tattoo represents yeah, this, it. <laughs> because, like, music has the power to keep me going, even when I'm lonely or when I'm with others. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, is our future doomed by social media? If so, I'll be dancing with Chris here. I checked in with one of our DMC graduates to see what she has to say about loneliness. My name is Ronnie Vallarta and I'm 20 years old. And what does loneliness mean to you? <laughs> um, loneliness to me means when you, you feel like nobody, I feel like loneliness to me means that when you feel like nobody cares, you feel like nobody's there for you, and nobody nobody wants you around, I guess. Do you feel lonely? No. <laughs> I like to be alone though, <laughs> but I don't feel lonely. Mm -hmm. Um, with our world today being more connected than ever before with the internet and anything else, um, how do you feel about our world being more connected than ever before? I think that, I think that it goes both ways. I think that it could make you feel really connected and it can make you feel really disconnected. So I feel like if you're online and everybody's like, bashing you then you feel like the whole world's after you and I feel like but if you're online and you're like interconnected with something and you're like a part of something bigger than you then you can feel like you're you're not alone you're you're a part of something that is essentially bigger than yourself and that makes you feel like you're like you belong and do you think it's gonna get better or worse <laughs> that is a good question. Uh, me, myself, personally, I think that it's going to get worse. 
we have the honors to speak with one of our amazing neighbors across the street. Namaste, my name is Timothy Nickerson and I'm the founder of Enlightened Meditation. How do you define loneliness? That's a deep question. Loneliness is an interesting subject because a lot of times I feel like we fear loneliness or we look at loneliness as if it's a bad thing. A lot of us many times are not taught how to be alone so we search for a distraction, whether that be in a cell phone or television or, or maybe in someone else. And the most beautiful things that I have ever found in my life is actually by being alone. And I don't just mean by being alone and like relationship wise or anything like that, but do taking that time out in your day to spend time with yourself. I think it's a part that we seem to forget. And there's so much to be discovered when we allow ourselves to take that journey inside of ourselves and not look for an, a solution outside of ourselves that we might be using to help cope or help numb. So loneliness is actually such a beautiful sign saying it's time to, to dive within and connect back to you. Mm -hmm. And do you feel lonely? Uh, I feel lonely all the time <laughs> and I'm not afraid. I actually love when I feel lonely because I know it's time for me to kind of sit in there and reflect and be reminded of all the wonderful things and the wonderful people that I do have in my life and it's a time to celebrate. So, I mean, you know, we are beings, we are human, so there are going to be times where we stumble and when we trip, but what I'm here to always remind you is that taking that journey within, that you are your healer, you are the solution is already inside of you. So don't be afraid to embrace that loneliness at times. That's beautiful. And um, what are your thoughts on on society today that we actually don't feel lonely anymore, that we actually have to step away um, to be lonely? You know, what are I your think, thoughts on I that? I think that comes from the distractions because of how quick it is to be distracted, right? We like, you know, I, I, I work with people and I coach with people the Harley Pass on South Market. I work and I coach with people and you know, uh, it's funny because in my backpack I carry three to four journals at all times. I'm big on journaling, I'm big on writing down my emotions and seeing them. Um, and when I'm helping someone new on their journey and I tell them to get a journal, I describe it to them that I need you to treat this journal just as you would treat your cell phone. Because if you were to leave home without your journal, and sometimes without your wallet, you'd be like, oh, I don't need it. But if you were to leave home right now without your cell phone, you're gonna turn right back around, no matter how far you've gone, you're gonna go grab that cell phone, right? And then, so it's like, we have these distractions at our palm that kind of keep us from looking within ourselves. And so to really, like I said again, to not be afraid of that loneliness and that search inside of you and to see what you find, because inside of you are where your passions are, your dreams are, your love is, everything about you that you have to share to this world. You know, I remind people that life is a gift and we can all relate to that, but at times we forget that you are a gift to this life as well, that there's one of you. So sit inside there and share that gift with this world. Awesome. Thank you so much. Of course, love. There will probably be more distractions in the future. But as long as we're aware, I think it'll be okay. I think we can decipher from loneliness to wanting to actually just spend time alone and be okay with it. Maybe we need to learn how to be okay with it. And that's okay.